Well, we've been tracking two areas of possible tropical activity, one that's still way out in the eastern Atlantic. It only has a less than 50% chance of development over the next five days, but the one we've been watching, you forget about potential, it's already there. The National Hurricane Center just came out with this update about three minutes ago. We have now potential tropical cyclone number nine. Its current position right now is 235 miles to the southeast of the Great Abaco Islands. They got hit by Hurricane Dorian just two weeks ago. Moving to the northwest at eight miles an hour, only has 30 mile an hour sustained winds. But from where its position is, the National Hurricane Center is indicating that it may become a tropical storm, and if that's the case, this would be Umberto as it heads towards the Florida coastline. Any indication of whether it's going to make landfall or now, at least as far as this day is concerned, is irrelevant. But the track will take it somewhere through Florida from the East Coast, possibly heading into the Florida Georgia line. And then uh, the, that track ends as an area of low pressure somewhere off the coast of South Carolina and Georgia. This is just a preliminary track. The bottom line is that we're going to be watching this from now until through the weekend at the very least. Meanwhile, we already have a little bit of tropical activity in the form of rain. Just a couple of isolated showers have been popping up in Kershaw County, but it's hot and humid. 95 in Columbia, 94 in Sumter, 92 in Orangeburg. Coastline is still in the upper mid to upper 80s. And right now in Columbia, we're at 95 degrees. It feels like 98. Now, if you're going out tonight, well, temperatures will still be in the upper 80s to low 90s by 7 o'clock, by 9 o'clock tonight. Most of them dropping down into the mid 80s and heading home at 11 o'clock, mix of upper 70s to low 80s. Now, our forecast for tonight will drop down to 72 degrees. Tomorrow, 94, a slight chance for late afternoon showers. 90 degrees on Saturday with another chance for some late afternoon showers. And then on Sunday, a better chance for storms. A high temperature of only 89 degrees, and I'll say only why in your forecast coming up in just a few minutes.